my name is David Godbout. I have good days, I have bad days, but you know, there's a lot of loneliness, there's a lot of stigma around the condition, you know. You can't really blame people because, you know, there's not enough awareness. People don't know what it is when they see it. People are just leery and sort of standoffish. People see things and they're just like, that's not normal. I feel like I probably lost a job here or there when I was younger because of it. It is frustrating, but it's one of those things where you want to feel sorry for yourself at times, but at the same time, you understand that there are people with conditions that are far worse, people with like mental disabilities, people have all sorts of things and you know, everybody has something. I would say one of the first times I went to a doctor to have something, have it checked out, they cut some off my back and they like, they grew right back. I mean, they just, cause they just superficially, you know, just cut the top off of it. So yeah, so there's not a lot of knowledge around the condition, you know, they were just testing to see what it was. Obviously, you know, they're just, they're benign for the most part. So I, I went to an actual neurologist, I'd say about 10 years ago. It wasn't until I was an adult that he said, you should probably meet with a neurologist yearly just because you have a lot of pain or you feel something off go get a scan. People still try to help, even if they're not completely capable. I went to a dermatologist down in Orange County back when I was in my early 20s. He had some experience with it, but not really enough, because he didn't know that on some of them you have to get really, really deep to get the root out, like the facial ones. Like I had these, he tried to remove these once before, and they grew back because he, he didn't go deep enough to get the root out. It was only a couple at a time. There was definitely, it was like a local. I was awake the entire time. He got maybe four or five at a time. It was really good. He was really forthcoming, you know, especially about, you know, results and expectations. You know, this is a process. It's not something that happens, you know, not overnight, not over the course of a couple months. This is you know, probably like a couple years, you know, but if someone like me who's 43 who's had this for years, you know, a couple years is nothing. His general demeanor and just his bedside manner is really good. So, you know, that puts somebody at ease. i say it was once I had the the telephone, the, the telephone consultation the, the over the internet. The fact that he has so much experience with this and, you know, he sees so many people with the condition, that really put my heart at ease. Uh, day of the surgery, I will say it was very streamlined. Everybody in there, all the nurses, the anesthesiologist, everybody is very friendly, very accommodating. Everybody communicates with you. It's a very pleasant experience, you know, if you have any sort of reservations, don't. Uh, during my first surgery, they pretty much got my entire back and they got a few on the back side of my scalp. The pain is very manageable. You're only really much in pain for maybe the first day or so just because the sutures are fresh and other than that, yeah, it's pretty easy, you know? Itching, I'll say itching was a big concern at first, but that only lasted about three weeks. But that's just, that's the healing process. With anything's healing, with, with scar tissue, it's gonna itch. I will say that don't be alarmed because things are gonna look crazy at first while they're healing. You're gonna have some, some of the burned ones. They're not gonna look pretty while they're healing, but that's just all part of the process. Just be patient with your body, it's gonna heal. I'm very pleased. Visually looking at it, you know, looking at my back, it's like, that's a lot of scars. But to me, it's not so much the visual, it's anybody who has a condition is gonna know how it feels. You're running your hands along your back and it's just bump, 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 bump. Aesthetically, it feels great. It feels great when I shower. You can sort of feel them individually because there's a lot of nerves, little, little nerves wrapped up around those things. Don't worry, don't worry so much about the cosmetic aspect. It's very important, but it's, the scars are gonna shrink. They're gonna fade. I know for a lot of people, they don't like to touch themselves. They don't like to look at themselves. So do that, you know, you gotta get more comfortable with your body and with the process. Uh, I sleep a lot better. A lot of the back pain I had is gone. I guess I'm a little more positive in general. Uh, I've got a little bit more hope in life. Not that I didn't have hope before, but I don't know, my mom says my outlook is better. I'm, you know, I'm nicer. Uh, there's no pain. There's no itching, really at all, on my back. Feels great. I wanted to complete the process, you know. It's for the second surgery, we're planning to do my face and as much of my chest, torso area as we can possibly get. Surgery seems like a daunting thing, recovery, you know, even if it's, I just went through this, the, the previous surgery and it feels mild. There was a couple moments where I was like, oh God, do I want to do this again, man? But that's just, that's just like a small voice, a small fear inside of yourself. Squelch out that kind of little bit of doubt, you know? Do something for yourself. 
Absolutely. For one reason, limited resources to, to have the surgery done. You're going to have to go somewhere to get the surgery done if it means enough to you. Plane travel is not cheap, but it's definitely worth the plane travel. So I definitely say budget yourself 500 bucks, buy yourself a plane ticket, rent an Airbnb, it'll all be worth it.